All right, happy Monday, everybody. We're back on the uh, mobile review layout here, and I still need to pick up some more Elmer's glue so I can put together some uh, like 10 to 1 wash so we can do some of our uh, ballasting here. So we're still a couple weeks out before I can get to that. So. Couple changes that I made. I everything's good and dry now and well attached. So I went and vacuumed up all of the extra stuff so we can see where we have some of the the low points and whatnot. So we'll have to do a little more fill in with some turf. I also put down a layer of black over here on my uh, my DC50 DCS51, the area where it sits, just to kind of take some of the white out of the the image. And so. I am noticing in my reviews, I need to go ahead and get my wall put up over here. That'll probably be next week's project. And then we'll probably look at doing the, the clouds in the background back there. Um, so we'll get ready to do that. But over here is definitely still visible in a lot of my shots. So I'm going to do a little bit of a wash over here to try and break up some of the... Uh, the foam and we'll see if we can get a little better look here and then I'll probably black out the rest of it. So I've got a uh, pretty runny wash set up over here and we're just going to go ahead and start just letting some black run through here. I'm gonna really have to hit this area hard here. I might even put some uh, some foliage right here that I should have taken off that uh, the I think they call it the the heat seal, but it's the kind of the metallic uh, side on the foam board. That's my mistake. I should have done a better job of prep on that, but is what it is. Don't be afraid to just layer on the wash. A lot of it will just wipe right off. So, matter of fact, I might just speed this up a little bit. There we are. Some areas a little heavier than others. Just a tad off screen here. Looking for some drastically darker spots to kind of contrast with some of the lighter spots. And trying to definitely cover up any white areas that I might have. All right. 
we're going to let that dry for a minute before we start wiping any of it off. And then I think what we might do is go ahead and do a little bit of detailing over here. Let's just zoom in a touch. And I'm going to do kind of the same thing up and around here, but I'm not going to be as heavy handed with the, uh, the wash. Okay, it always looks a little darker than you think it might while it's still wet as it dries it definitely tones down and doesn't look as jarring. And keep in mind most of the time you're not really looking at this super up close. It's more of a you're trying to add a little bit of shadow to things to add some depth. It's not about necessarily detailing. It's more about creating a little bit of a, oh, how do I say this? Faux depth to things. Like I wasn't super aggressive about making my foam super gnarled and whatnot, mainly because it's very difficult to uh, get in those areas to... Uh, get all the paint in those places so I'm essentially adding some fake shadows in places just to kind of add some add some depth and then once you're ready you can actually take just a uh, a little bit of water on your clean brush and you can kind of just dilute some areas out and you'll notice that it kind of will run away from those areas. That's something you have to be careful about. Uh, all my paints are water soluble. So if you have a thick base layer like I did right there, not a big deal because we're going to cover this up in a minute anyway. you got to be careful you don't use too much water because you can start to saturate the base layer and it will come back off. But just something that uh, you got to keep in mind. So the nut, oops, sorry about that. Get back going here. The... Uh, I really want to get these ballasted in, but I found that ballast is usually the thing I want to do last, and then I come in with a little bit of turf to come up against the ballast to kind of finish thing out. So I generally do a, an initial layer, kind of get some of my shrubbery and, and stuff in just to see how everything looks, and then I come in and I try to even out any of my my bald spots with a little more of the turf. So. What I'm looking at here and seeing is that I kind of want a little more down here at the at the edge here and moving up into there. I'm going to leave this empty, uh, mainly because that's probably all going to become ballast. The back area is actually pretty good. I like the way it looks, but the central area is going to be a little bit sparse. So we, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit that with some 50-50 glue, and we'll add just a little bit more turf there. Okay, so this is just a little bit of my leftover white school glue. It's mixed about 50-50, 50% uh, glue, 50% water. 
and then uh, I just add a little bit of alcohol, just rubbing alcohol in there to help break up the surface tension. Some people use dish soap. I just kind of prefer alcohol, but uh, we're just going to come in and kind of in the low spots here, we'll just add a little more glue. And you can kind of do this all ahead of time. And then the wet spots are just kind of the area that you're going to want to add some more foliage. And this is kind of where I like to add some of the dynamic range to it. We're going to use a little bit of you know, the more dead grass looking colors in here. And I think we'll just add a sprinkling. And I'm not going for a fall or an autumn look on this at all. So primarily staying with the nice bright green on there. Just uh, sometimes the dead spots can add a, a nice change in scenery as you're as you're working through it. And then down here, close to the camera, just got to be careful I don't get too close to the edge here. Okay, again, we'll just go through with a little bit of the, the brown. And then come back through with a nice second layer of green turf. You totally can use the lids from these canisters to do the spreading. It does work pretty well. Uh, just harder to be a little more accurate when doing so. So I just kind of prefer the fingers. Just a light spreading. I'm trying to get nice and close over here on the edge. Get this filled in. And then we'll go ahead and give this just a couple days to dry back out and I will vacuum up all of the remaining. All right, a little closer to the look I want. I might have to do one more layer, but uh, not in a huge hurry to get this done. I think I'm gonna try to add a little bit more back here. So I'm just gonna
Look just up here above some of this. I want just a little bit more. There we go. And then I have I've got a little bit of full strength glue here. I'm going to try to fill in just a little bit down here. And of course the lid's clogged as always. I'm going to do just a hint of the brown and come back in and lay down a nice healthy smattering. Alrighty. Okay, so we got a pretty decent look going here. And then now that this has had a little bit of time to dry, I am just going to come back in with a Kleenex and pat some of it off there and we definitely get some some lights and some darks that's what I'm going for alrighty okay well I think that's probably enough for today uh, next week hopefully it will be a little warmer we've been very much below zero for the last week here in Montana so um, finding time to get some painting done has been difficult but I think I'm going to Sneak over to my dad's garage, cut the final piece here, get that up and painted. We'll do that, and then we will do the cloud work, followed by the following week uh, after Thanksgiving. Hopefully, um, I will have a chance to get down and get some more Elmer's glue. I just don't have enough to properly lay all the ballast. So that'll probably be what we'll be doing then. And then I'll probably do a little more finishing work over here after that, and hopefully... At that point, we should be all done, and we can move on to a different video series. So I will see you guys this Wednesday. We're definitely making some progress on the BNSF 8970 that I am putting the lock sound in. So we'll take a look at that, go over how I get the sound files installed, and hopefully I can get it running with some of my other engines. So um, maybe one episode, probably two. So I will see you this Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good week. Bye now.